Hello everybody, how's it going? Starcat here. Please like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification button to help support the channel. People are watching, but not subscribing. I keep asking, please subscribe. I've been at this for three and a half years. I've been trying to grow this channel into something more than what it is. Non-edited videos with some edited videos here and there in the chats and stuff like that. So this is replacing a video that was uploaded this morning. Um, I uploaded it, you know, last night to get it ready for the release this morning. And nothing bad came of it, but then when I went to look uh, this morning, it got blocked because I found out that the person, well, the person that used uh, the audio in it from uh, anime from someplace over yonder in the world has it blocked in the U.S. So, yeah. I mean, it happens. This is the second time it has happened. I wasn't mad in the way she performed. I was like, hmm, well... Kind of expected as much because that's uh, uh, it was gonna be another Castlevania fan made game, but uh, yeah. So here I am with the Namco Museum on the Game Boy Advance, brought to you in well HD with the Retron 5. I have absolutely no idea what to really expect. I just got this recently at a very decent price. So, what we got here, we got Miss Pac Man, uh, okay, that's pole position. I had to look there for a second. Oh, Dig Dug again. Okay. Galaga? Galaxian? Galaxian's everywhere. So, what? One, two, three, four, five. This is a Game Boy Advance game. They can actually squeeze a lot onto this cartridge. Well. Full screen. Okay. I don't know how to go back, to be honest. Let's see here. Start. Oh, there it goes. Start. Yeah, continue. <clears throat> okay, so we got... Looks like the standard ghost. And starring Miss Pac-Man. Oh, it's tiny. Okay. <laughs> Okay, and I just did Namco uh, five uh, five game here just recently too, with the plug and play from two thousand three Jack Specific. Uh oh, this ain't good. Oh, I don't know why I went back for the cherry. <laughs> Um, I better get this side first. And of course, too, the Retro 5 doesn't quite want to record it too well. Because since it's a Game Boy Advance game. Nice. Continues along. I'm not gonna have to chase that cherry. I just want to see what. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's right on my heels, sir. Or was. Is that supposed to be a strawberry? Oh. Oh, God! The invincibility time doesn't seem to last long with Miss Pac-Man. What's going on here? It... Huh. I don't know why I just did that. You know, playing Pac-Man compared to this, oh, come on now. Oh, it's just right there. That's okay. Game over. 
But seems like the invincibility time is a lot less of uh, action time than Pac-Man's. So they have the bigger sprites here, which look normal. Yeah, I miss Pac-Man there, but when they squeeze her down, yeah, it doesn't look like her at all. They should have just... I don't know, to be honest. Well, they have to figure out something in order to squeeze it down onto the Game Boy. Advance. So... Boy, some scroll. Let's, let's see about the scroll function. Whoops. Oh! Okay, so I stand corrected. I shall put my foot in my own mouth. So, okay. Hmm. It changes a lot of things, doesn't it? Well... Yeah, because I'm, you know, sitting here, it's like, well, it seems odd, seems odd, but... It's a good thing I tried the scroll feature, because now it's got the proper size. That's all I want to do is to get past the first stage. Yes. Is anything else scroll? Let's check real fast. No? Let's do pull position next. I am not sure if I really played this. I may have. Oh, that sound is so Namco. Hey, it talks! Oh, we're going. Oh, that's touchy. <clears throat> Excuse me. Was that Dig Dug? Oh, God. It... The controls are so touchy. Okay. So what happens if I don't qualify? Jeez. Is there like... There's no options. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me. I guess we'll try again. Um... Oh my god! That's fast. And the processing power for the Game Boy Advance is quite, quite powerful in itself, so that was fast. Oh, there's the end. Can I actually get it? Wow. You guys can rat on me all you want. That is tips. Getting started. Before you start, shift into low gear and step on the gas. 
Change gears. Uh, okay. There's other tips too, but I want to try it one more time. <laughs> this is very interesting. And around uh, June, I actually plan on grabbing that uh, that HDMI uh, Game Boy console from uh, Hypercan because it's supposed to actually play Game Boy Advance games better than the Retron 5. Yes. You just have to upgrade it from one that's files from online. Okay. <laughs> well, because I want to bring out some Game Boy Advance content, especially with an EverDrive for us, you know, some Game Boy uh, Advance ROM hacks, some Game Boy uh, hacks, you know, stuff like that. Um, I can do it with the, uh... Let's try Dick Duck here. Oh, that looks off. Oh, this is based off the arcade. But I could do it with the, with the GameCube. But I kind of want to have something a little bit more of an upgraded, uh, you know, console, so to say, with a with better features. Yeah, this is based off of the arcade. Whoops! I have it a present start. So Puka and Figar. Sounds almost like it, but that's so Game Boy Advance uh, sound. Well, this version is very interesting. But I don't remember the arcade being like this. I don't know what he was trying to do. got away. Yeah, I don't remember the arcade. Well, I guess they have to do something for uh, for the Game Boy Advance to function. Oh, come on. I pressed the button and all. And of course, too, I'm using this on the Retron 5, so I really should be doing this on the GameCube with the Game Boy Player. Ooh, he almost got away too. kind of different. So next, we have Galaga. Oh. Oh. 
Alright. In order to start the game, you have to keep pressing A. They have an arcade version of this on the very first Tekken. Because you know it's Namco and all. And this is the very first Tekken on the PS1, mind you. Uh huh. Almost seems like they're throwing swords. <laughs> or backward swords. Oh, I actually got it all. Alright, alright, alright. Whoa! Okay, so both buttons are fire, A and B. What about the top ones? Nope, nothing. I'm surprised that didn't get me. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm not too familiar with Galaga. So I only played it like maybe a total of maybe nine times in the past 35 years. Yep, showing my age. But every time, you know, when I played Tekken 1 a long time ago on the PS1, I just, just let it roll. I never cared for it. Challenging stage. Ooh. How about that sauce? That was pretty neat. All right. I'm going to have to end this soon because it seems like I'm going to keep on going. Oh. That was... Almost sounded like a real explosion. <laughs> oh, something's coming. Something is coming. Oh. Oh. I think I'll end it right there. Because it seems like I just keep on going and going and going. Uh, yes. Alright, this is the last one. Yeah. Galaxian. Oh. Oh. I still kind of wonder if Namco's making arcade games, even today's age, or that, or everything's digital. I really should look it up, So I know they're doing normal, uh, video games. Oh, I don't like that sound. I really don't like that sound. This feels like, a wait, which came first, Galaxian or Space, in Space Invaders? Now space, not space, not space. I was referencing a... Actually, well, not referencing. I actually said a movie name from 1990, which is really good. You should go check it out. Space Invaders with a D at the end. I'm gonna try this one more time. This is... Yeah, I wonder what came first. Either Space Invaders or... or, or Galaxian. Certain amount is taken out, it gets sus more suspenseful. I, I don't know what's going on here. I didn't... Okay, it is. Wait, is it getting faster? I can't even tell now. 
gotta pay attention here. Just think there's some people out there that don't miss a shot since they're so good at this. Oh, I know that for a fact. Because here you have the legends of the arcade uh, centers of ages past. The ones that actually did legit stuff and not cheated their way into success. Success! It's life's work in order to come after me. Oh, here we go. Another one? Okay. Hmm. Well, the ship moves kind of slow. Tips. Beware of the last enemies. When there are only a few enemies left, they will attack with a zigzag or a somersault pattern. Uh, you can kill enemies easily when they are doing a somersault because they can't fire at you. Okay. You cannot launch a missile until the previous one disappears. Kill an- oh, yeah. Kill enemies when they are close. When you kill the yellow galaxy and the other enemies' attack will stop for the next few seconds. Kill- kill tough, violent, and- oh, okay. Kill tough, violent enemies during this time. Even if you are about to collide with the enemies, move to the left or right and shoot them down. Yeah. The ship moves slowly, though. Before killing the boss, kill both of his escort ships and gain 800 points. Kill enemies quickly. If you could take too long, destroy the formation. And there are only a few enemies left. They will... Okay, let's do that. Let's go to main menu here. Well, that is... Um... Namco Museum in a nutshell. I, I was kind of wondering if there's going to be f a lot more than just five, but because um, you know I've been playing uh, some handhelds recently, you know, plug and play, and there's five on them, and I feel that Namco should have put a lot more onto this, but eh, it is what it is. So take this video as what you will. Again, please like, subscribe, turn on the bell notification button. Please support the channel. People are watching but not subscribing. I've been asking for help to, for people to build this channel up for quite some time. And, and yeah, it's been wanting to hit at least a thousand subscribers by the end of the second quarter, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, it, it is what it is. So, I shall catch you all later and see what tomorrow's video brings.